We play a lot of roles in our lives. We go by different names or designations, labels, if you will. Uh, let me tell you which ones are most important to me. In order, uh, husband. I want to be known as a good husband, uh, and that's the most important role in my life. Right behind it is father. And here coming up on Father's Day 2023, I think it's a good time for us to spend a couple of minutes talking about uh, fatherhood and what it means to be a father. Uh, the others, by the way, that are su super important to me are uh, grandfather, which is really a derivative of, of father, uh, and brother. Uh, brother to me is an incredibly important and broad and comforting uh, title or role or label uh, to be associated with. But uh, let's talk about fathers uh, today. Uh, all of us have a father. Uh, not all of us are fathers. And in having this discussion, I don't mean to imply that those who are not fathers have somehow missed something that's uh, irretrievable to them. Everybody's different. And what's important and vital to their life journey isn't necessarily going to be the same. For me, it just so happens that being a father was and is incredibly important in my life journey. Uh, and so uh, I can talk about it in that vein, uh, hopefully without making anyone who isn't uh, sharing that position, uh, feeling bad, or that I'm somehow uh, trying to one-up them in some way. I certainly don't intend that. Um, being a father to me started way back uh, over 40 years ago, uh, and watching uh, my first child uh, emerge into the world uh, was an incredibly moving experience. And each time, we have four children, I got to do that, be witness to their arrival on earth, uh, even to clip the umbilical cord and say to each one, now you're on your own. <laughs> I had that line for each one. I guess it's not horribly original and not even very true because they were never on their own and even to this day are not. Uh, and my wife and I, uh, the father of these four children, uh, in partnership with God, brought new life into the world. That's incredibly important to me. Uh, but the role of father even goes beyond that. I've been called father and am called father uh, by uh, several others uh, in another continent, another part of the world. Uh, I hope that these men know how important it is to me to be referred to uh, as father or dad. I really get a lot out of that and appreciate it very much. I hope in some way I can even partially measure up to what that means. Uh, as our family grew and expanded, uh, I became father to really four more. Uh, as my children found their life partners uh, and those in-laws uh, are really sons and daughters of mine as well. So to me, I, I put a lot in uh, what it is to be a father. Uh, it doesn't always mean being the best friend in the sense that anything goes. Of course not. Being a father, the responsibility that goes along with that means hopefully setting a good example for them. And that really refers again to that first uh, important title, the most important of all, as husband. Hopefully my sons especially, and daughters too, uh, and in-laws, everybody, uh, gets uh, got to see growing up and gets to see now how I relate to their mother, uh, Anne. Uh, to the extent that I honor and respect her, uh, I'm a good husband. They can count on that from their spouses, hopefully. Uh, and that, again, is part of what a father's role is. Yes, instruction, but some of the best instruction comes by example, not by the words or lectures we might throw at them. Uh, God has been a partner with me in my life in many, many ways, but being a father is probably among the most important. And of course, all of us, men and women alike, have a father. Uh, if our father is still with us, I hope we would say that we're very fortunate that that's the case. If our father has departed this world, I hope we are able to reflect on their uh, lives 
in, in a good, in a positive way. Uh, here's something I keep on my desk, which um, is an example and a reminder of my own father. The example is of his playfulness. This is a toy he made for our children, his grandchildren, many years ago. Um, and he was handy with wood. So, you know, he was a bit of a craftsman. He made every bit of this right down to the axles. Uh, and as I pick it up from time to time, uh, it reminds me in a favorable way of a dad who was not only very skillful, but enjoyed his life uh, and was playful from time to time as well. Uh, were our parents perfect? Of course not, but we're not either. We can reflect on their lives, how they, how they, you know, were fathers to us, and learn both the positive and maybe the not so positive aspects of that relationship, and carry it forward, hoping to advance our growing edge in the process, and maybe learn from the mistakes they made, and hopefully not repeat them. In turn, our children, my sons and daughters, I hope are doing the same thing, looking at where dad dropped the ball and doing a better job in their own roles as fathers or mothers for that matter. So Father's Day is incredibly important. Uh, it's important because it gives us a chance to look at ourselves in a, I hope with gratitude, to thank God that he trusted us with the role of being fathers. And if we look at it in that way, we can't help but be better fathers. We can't help but realize that not only have we done right by those people whose lives really depended on us at one time very much, and maybe a little less now, but are still important, the grandchildren who allow us to set similar examples for them and a new generation. And also for ourselves, if we can look at ourselves and realize that we did our best, that we upheld the virtues of being a good father, Think of it again as a partner with God in bringing new life into the world. If we think of it that way, we won't be exploitative fathers, we will be genuine fathers. And it'll be a role we can carry with great pride and satisfaction and true joy as long as we live. Happy Father's Day to everyone.